Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, your lovely faces, to another video with me. I hope everyone is having a great day wherever you are in the world, and I hope you're smiling and you're happy. Today we're going to take a look at the article that Johnny Depp first did, and it's kind of sad to see because obviously now you've got some people who've gone on and they've retweeted the article regarding Johnny Depp saying that he's been boycotted, and a lot of them are like, well, what does he think is going to happen? Well, he deserves it. And all these stupid things. And you got people who have actually retweeted it. One of them is actually the, uh, the author of the article in the interview. And she's gone out there and said, some of these tweets, some of these replies, how can they stand for someone like him? That's because everyone's been following the case and everyone has read and heard and seen evidence Showing that she is the horrible person that she is. You know, that she, you know, everyone's claiming that he's the horrible person, but it's not, it's her. And it's nice to see that a lot of people now are starting to stand to switch sides and turn on her. Because they're like, wow, okay, you know. They're seeing the evidence for the first time. They're hearing the audio tapes for the first time. They're seeing the charity donations didn't actually be donated. And everyone's like, wow, this woman is a real piece of work. So we're going to take a look at that. This is coming from Rolling Stone magazine. Johnny Depp claims Hollywood is boycotting him after allegations. Liable suit loss. Actor gives first interview since losing the US suit to the UK paper that referred to him as this in an article. I do like those glasses. The blue just pops. I love them. Johnny Depp suggested that Hollywood and the US entertainment industry is boycotting him in a new interview with the UK publication The Sunday Times. And who owns the Times, ladies and gentlemen? Rupert Murdoch. The interview marked John Johnny Depp's first conversation with the press since he lost the trial last November into another UK outlet, The Sun, which referred to Johnny Depp as this in an article about him and his ex-wife. She accused her Depp of this, and the judge of overseeing the libel case found that the papers claim that he was towards her substantially true. Following that ruling, Depp resigned at the urging of Warner Brothers, from his role in the Fantastic Beast series. Which I do like they actually put that in there though and say, yeah, he resigned because they wanted him gone. You're either fired or you uh, resign. You resign or even if you're fired, you still get your money because it's pay or play. MGM, the studio behind this movie, Minamata, changed the film's US release date to TBA and has yet to announce a new one. It is being released in the UK and I will probably be watching that this week because like I said in a couple of days getting the videos, I am on festival all the time, my body is not sleeping, I'm at ball hours, which is ridiculous, and I just want to get back, you know, relax, chill, watch a film. And I will be watching Minamata. In Minamata, Depp plays W. Eugene Smith, a photojournalist who helped expose the effects of mercury poisoning on Japanese communities in the 70s. Alluding to the film's message and understandably the inability for it to reach US audiences, Johnny Depp told the Sunday Times... Some films touch people, and this affects those in Minamata, and people who experience similar things. And for anything, for Hollywood boycotting me, one man, one actor in an unpleasant and messy situation over the last number of years. Elsewhere in the interview, Johnny Depp spoke about the aftermath of the suit and trying to navigate the absurdity of media mathematics. He also seemed to suggest he was working on clearing his name, saying, but you know, I'm moving towards where I need to go to make all that, to bring things to light. As USA Today noted, Johnny Depp also thanked his fans for sticking with him, saying they have always been my employers. Depp said, I'm proud of these people because of what they are trying to say, which is the truth. The truth they're trying to get out since it doesn't in more mainstream publications. It's a long road that sometimes get clunky, sometimes just plain stupid. Which is very, very true, because we have seen a lot of stuff happening recently where it's just sad to see that Hollywood and, you know, MGM have done this with, oh, yeah, you know what, we're going to get rid of him because we don't need to see this, we don't need to see that. And it's horrible, because this guy, this guy has been on so much crap thrown at him over the last couple of years, but he's still going forward. You know, he's still making forward, he's still making moves. He's like, you know what, no. I'm doing this today, I'm getting forward, and we're going to make sure that my name is cleared. Which I think is amazing, because it's exactly what he needs. But when you think of Hollywood boycotting him, and it's like, right, okay, some people have done worse things. You know, this guy has been lied about, he has had his life literally thrown upside down. 
You've got Jesse Smollett who lied about uh, being the victim of a uh, of the racist uh, thing that uh, you know with the noose and everything. He, you know, found out that uh, the two people he hired, they came out and said, "No, he hired us. He hired us to do this." And it's like, wow, he's still working. You know, he was an Alien Covenant. He was in. Uh, can't remember what the TV series is, but it's got uh, Terence Howard and a few other people, and he's still in a lot of other things. And it's like, well, they didn't, you know, they didn't boycott him. They boycotted Johnny Depp though, because, well, let's face it, it's exactly what they're doing it for. Because supposedly, according to her, you know, the Time's Up uh, and all this movement and stuff, and Me Too, Johnny Depp is the uh, powerful white man. That's why they're doing it to him. And it's like we need to get rid of him, but. They can't, because there is nothing in there stating what he has done is true. Because there's no evidence against this man. That's what people need to remember as well. There's evidence against her, a whole host of evidence, a table full. Bloody hell, there's a six-course meal full, you know? Everything from audio with her admitting to doing horrible things, to children's donations, where the children's hospital come out and said she hasn't given us any money. What's going on? But then you've got the ACLU emails coming out and saying, well... Let's see if she can do an article for one of the uh, papers. We'll write it for her. We'll skirt around the NDA so you can't talk about the marriage, which she has done. So technically, she should give that money back to Johnny Depp because she's broken the clause in the contract, which, again, can be like, I'm going to sue for money. I want my money back because you spoke about it. You know, it's just so stupid about so many things going on. But this is the US Today article that they were talking about in Rolling Stone. Recent interview suggests there's a Hollywood boycott against him. First interview referred to a surreal five years around the case and the end of his marriage to her. Johnny Depp being boycotted in his first interview spoke in often incomplete responses described as riddles and broken sentences during an interview for Britain's The Sunday Times, part of the same Rupert Murdoch-owned publishing group as The Sun, which is kind of interesting as Rolling Stone didn't actually say that, did they? But we had to tell people. It comes nine months after the British High Court judge in November 2020 said the son's description of Depp as this is substantially true, which we all saw. With another legal battle arriving in April of next year, a $50 million US defamation lawsuit against her, stemming from a Washington Post opinion piece on this, Depp's people told the Times he could not talk about the court case given the looming US trial, which is exactly true, which is exactly how a contract, and obviously you can't speak about certain things because it's privacy and all this stuff, That's what you're meant to do. Not exactly what she did, though, is it? She went out there and she was like, Guys, I'm going to talk about anything because I'm Amber fucking heard. That's what she's like, I'm telling you. And I'm going on a rant now, guys. So buckle in, get your drinks, get your popcorn. This woman is basically the devil's semen. You know, she slips and slimes all over the place. She'll get into any crevice. She'll find any person who's willing to pull their pants down for her. And she'll be like, huh? I can do this. Johnny Depp, Elon Musk, God knows how many other people. And it's interesting as well because she's currently in Los Angeles, according to her Instagram and her Twitter feeds, because the kitchen's the same from her old place. And she's just there, laddy daring it up. It's almost like she's trying to make people think that she's this domestic goddess, which she's not. Where the fuck's the baby? That's what I want to know. There's a video of her making pizza or whatever the shit it is. And the music's on loud. She is off her face on bloody whatever. And where's the baby? Where is the baby? I want to know. I want to know if that baby's being taken care of. That's what I want to know. But it's just sad to see that someone like Johnny Depp, who a fucking private investigator, a Hollywood fixer, went around the world, went back four decades, speaking to numerous thousands of people, no one had a bad word to say about him. But with her, all you got to do, AH into Google, DV, uh, you know, case or whatever, 2009 and uh, 2010. And there she is. There's her mugshot. She was arrested for DV against her own wife. That just goes to show what type of person she really is. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end it by here because I think I've ranted a little bit of enough. And I don't want to keep you for too long, even though you do want to see this lovely face. Because people have missed me. I've missed all of you, I know that. It's been weird not posting videos. But ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you soon.